Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Heavenly Delusion episode 6. I've got nothing to say before the start of this episode, I just want to get straight into it today. So as always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Clean rooms and aired out futons, you don't say. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just leaving it in a room, you've got the key. Maybe she could have a spare, but it's fine. So we're sure that the uh, water in this place is 100% safe. Looks pretty clear, but... There's a fucking dead dude over there. He was killed by a man eater or something. Is that one of the dudes that attacked Maru? I don't see shit. Oh, this dude in the water? Yeah, he dead. About to get fucking jump scared. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, it's just a man bear pig. What the fuck is that? It's like a. It's not even a man eater. It just looks like a, a, a mutated bear or something. Damn, I gun go crazy. You really timing this right? Things just gonna walk into the fallen barrier? Okay. Well, shit. Are we gonna eat this? I like some weird Pokemon. Do they think this is a mania? I mean, that was. That was just a terrible name. This is not a man here. This is a fucking bear or something. Y'all dead. Y'all are dead. These fucking guys, man. Looks nothing like a man here. <laughs> They're so fucking dumb. They're just looking at them. Bears can climb. They can climb trees. I don't know if they'll be, we'll be able to climb this thing, though. Just trying to draw them out. She just dropped the battery. Fucking hell, Kiriko. You better go and at least collect that battery. I love these dumbasses. What are you getting at here? You gonna blackmail him into this? Yeah! <laughs> no fucking way they just jump! That was quick! On some Denji shit. How fast he got down there. So, about what you just said. Yeah, <laughs> you should not have been able to drop that height and not break your legs. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go fine. I suppose she, she is a pretty good shot. I feel like she's going to start to fall from here. It being a normal bear, we can kill it. That's good food right there, so. The way he can do that without breaking his fucking legs. Ow! Catch me! Also, when does bro get to touch boobs? Like, for the homie. Ooh, damn! We actually got four shots out of this thing. Good job. Sorry, bear. It's either you or us. Why have you got a rock? Oh, he was going to come kill it. Your horny energy, bro. <laughs> oh, so she put, she's a part of the group that beat up Maru. Well, try to beat up, Manu. 
Oh, shit, okay. So it's not 100% safe water. It was, it was stagnant, it wasn't moving, it wouldn't be safe water. Um, so about that deal we made? <laughs> you know the deal. <laughs> it's fair. He's doing it in a creepy way, but you said he could. Oh, so that's why the hair color changed. Okay. <laughs> this boy. <laughs> you don't look like that. You look like a girl. It's good enough for him. Yeah? The moon? <laughs> oh. Keep the rooms clean. I mean, yeah. Bro, he didn't even get to touch boobs. Not my chainsaw, man. The fuck? Yeah? Eight hundred thousand. How much is that worth in this world? <laughs> He's naked? Oh my god. He got to touch boobs for free. All right, that's that's fine. Wait, what? What the hell? Oh, is it like the thing they found in the? Okay. Okay, Maru. Look, look at the, what this looks like. I can't even put this on YouTube. The dark depths of despair. <laughs> So he saw, like, whatever that thing was inside of Taro, I think it was, inside of that girl. I think maybe everybody like that who's, like, lived through the disaster or who was born after the disaster probably has this shell thing around their heart, maybe. Whose toes are these? What the fuck? Why is there nobody there? Creepy. <gasps> creepy! Oh, that's really creepy. It's the girl that killed herself. Don't show me. Oh, why? What? Y'all had like an alien as a friend? What the f- What the fuck? Oh, you on some crazy drugs right now. What is this? What the hell is going on? Why are you apologizing? She jumped on him. She's still naked. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. He got to touch from boob, though. Let's go, Mara. Anything that feels good makes money. Okay. The king of hotels. Okay. So if I remember correctly, that would make it so Kiriko was born before the disaster. So he should try doing this on Kiriko. Fatal Diver. <laughs> Both terrible at naming shit. Ah, oh, damn. He wasn't kind to Maru. <laughs> Honestly, that's a horrible idea. She's she's not built to take on money is. Yeah. True. Damn, that was a fucking quick episode. Jeez. Oh, we still got a bit at the end. Okay, we got a little bit more, I guess. Something is messing with the cameras again. Is she doing it? Because she must be aware that the cameras... Oh, God. What is happening here? I don't get... Like, of course it's a match. Of course it was her. But, like, did they not all have the same shoes? They had the same uniforms and stuff. Oh, y'all about to get busy? Okay, I don't need to see this. 
Are you are you actually in love with her, or are you just saying that to to get in her pants? Right. So that was a very um, horny episode. That was a lot. Um, yeah, it was a good episode, regardless. Obviously, there was just a lot of half, a lot happening there. Gamaru was on his denji shit. Like, you listen. I, I if I can touch your boob, let me just jump off this real quick. Um, yeah, it's crazy. The Maru's not only obviously we knew he was strong and we knew he was fast. But you kind of forget about it because you really like you're thinking about yeah he's got a he's got this power he can kill man is when he touches them, and then he jumps off this like twenty foot high fucking thing onto concrete maybe thirty feet I don't know, and he just like doesn't break his legs he does it twice it's crazy to think about. Um, <laughs> Kiriko didn't really think it full way through obviously he was about to touch Kiriko's boob there but he got interrupted. Then he got to touch someone else's boob someone his own age which. You know, it's bare. They're not, they're not crazy different in age, Kiriko and him, but, you know, it's still like five years or something. Um, yeah, and that was a very horny kind of moment until Kiriko came in. Seems that he can, inter he can like, dive into people that are human as well, not just money is. Which makes me think the theory that I've said here, which is um, that everybody born after the disaster has this kind of problem or whatever it is casing around their heart. Um... I mean, he'd be able to find out if he touched Kiriko as well. Um, I don't know. It's just a theory, but it seems likely going off of what we know. Um, I can't remember. The, the, the disaster was 15 years ago, I think. Pretty sure. So, yeah, Kiriko would definitely have been born before it, I think. Uh, but, yeah, overall, a very good episode. We had the end. We went back to the school bit here as well. Tokyo and whatnot are just getting it on, as evolution does, I guess. Hopefully this guy isn't, like, using Tokyo. He actually has feelings for her. I wouldn't want her to get hurt like that. But yeah, overall, good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.